Well, hello everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And today we're going to be watching the most disrespectful moments in anime history, part three. I love that Vegeta made it after Android 18 broke his arm. I still, I still do not like her. And uh, I know he's Krillin's wife and everything else, but I wish her booby bomb went off. Booby bomb. Um, so let's just jump into it. All, uh, and of course I'm being a resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. So. Hey, look, look. So let's just jump into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, first up to the plate is actually a moment that came out pretty recently, and okay. that is Nezuko stomping out Daki. Now, as we can see, Tanjiro's fighting Daki right now, and he's about yeah. to cut the chat off. But Burrow ended up choking because the nigga forgot to breathe. So while he's doing his greatest General Grievous impression, trying to get his breath back, Nezuko comes from behind and kicks the dog shit out of him. Damn! Made the whole world like a bowling ball. And look at her, she angry as hell, biting the hell out of that damn bamboo retainer, whatever the hell that is, with all that damn slobber coming out of her damn mouth. Like, bro, she kicked half of her head off. So they start boxing, but Doc gives her the chop and just slings her like three houses down. She is crushed by this rubble, and she is still angry as sh so while Doki's monologuing and talking shit, Nezuko gets up from that and regrows literally all of her <laughs> limbs. So then she takes a whole bite out of the damn bamboo stick. And d Jesus Christ. King Kong ain't got shit on me! But I love this part in there. I wish, I wish they used her more. Like, I know she only, she's, she's constantly asleep. I understand that, but I really wish they would use her more more because i'm like i'm like if they actually trained her like she she would be one of the top demon slayers i don't care what anybody says christ look at this absolute menace nigga she got veins in her forehead and look at doggy she like what the f what type of crack did this just snort <laughs> okay is a hell of a drug oh, then Nezuko blitzes her ass and, oh my god she stepped on her ass made the b sound like a door creaking <laughs> open Nigga, her whole foot is in her back. And look at her staring at her like shit. I know your back ain't been blown out like this before, has it? King Kong ain't got shit on me! And she lifts up her foot and straight up breaks her arm Bruh. in half. And I love this. She is smiling. She is Bruh. smiling. Yo, she is a menace. I was so she happy. Is kicking the lifting like shit that. out of this bitch. Stepping on her ass harder than a bum. Bro, her head is bouncing off the ground, but then Daki loses, so she just slices up her entire body. But bro, her blood is literally holding her together right now. And, and then she just started burning her ass. So then she reattaches mm -hmm. her head, jumps. How the blood soaked Protestant hell did you do that? Up to high oh, heaven yes. and just like plants her. Bruh, that axe kick was a. Amazing. I, I used to be a Taekwondo instructor. Anyway, but that axe kit was amazing. I'm being dead serious. I was just watching this and I don't think she wasn't trying to kill her. Okay. She was just trying to convey a, a, a understanding. <laughs> oh, really? But I watched this fight like four times already. I was, I was so into it. Her face into the ground. So then she just starts stomping her out again, ass tooted up and everything. <laughs> and bro, bro, at this point, this fight is over. Just let the bitch quit. Menezuko was like, nah, nigga, I ain't done yet. So then she gets her up, climbs her up for the kick and just straight up boots the bitch. <laughs> Okay. But no, nah, no, nah, we no. didn't think he'd get even worse for Daki, right? Well, it did. So while Tanjiro's trying to calm I'm Nezuko gonna... down, Daki's trying to get back up and trying to land a hit on her. Tengen comes in and stops the whole attack. Yeah. While he's talking to Tanjiro, Daki's like, ooh, a Hashira, you came to fight, nigga? And he's like, shut your ass up. I ain't got time yeah, for your so... weak ass. And then she starts talking, and then her whole head just falls off. In just a split of a second, this man stopped her whole attack and straight up decapitated the bitch. So while she's complaining about why she's an upper six, and thinking like, uh, so why is your literal head in your fucking hands right now, you sorry ass bitch? And then she started crying. <laughs> bruh, bruh, I'm being dead serious. Like, that was, like, it reminded me of, like, if you ever, like, you see, like, a girl that's really vain, and then, and then she's like, oh, do you think I'm pretty? And then you'd be like, nah, you all right. And then she just starts, like, busting out crying, like, like, you actually, like, laid hands on her and everything else. That's what she reminded me when I was watching it. 
she reminds me of a spoiled brat and everything else and and she's so used to she's so used to white knights caping for her that's what that reminded me of hey yo this girl was talking all this like 10 minutes ago and now she's crying her ass off hey but you know what watching this ass whooping taught us all a lesson though Never judge a book by its cover. Cause that one quiet nigga in the class could have some hands and some black forces in his backpack. Facts. Facts. All right, next up on the list today is one of the most classic beatdowns of all time. And that is the Tenjo Tenge Lunchroom Agni Kai. So while Masataka and Bob are having lunch, Nagi comes in and he wants to smoke. And he's trying to run the hands with Masataka. And keep in mind, bruh, Nagi's only been at this school for two fucking days. <laughs> and he already trying to run somebody's fate on the second day of school. So he throws a punch, but bro stops it with a chopstick. Hell no. Till the no, no, no. Hell till the no. Then he gut checks homie and sends them flying. That's so everybody clears out the lunchroom because they're about to throw down. They're about to have a straight agony kai. So Taki and Nagi's ready to humble his ass. He like, bro, it's only your second day and you're already starting shit. So mm -hmm. then he says, all right, bro, since you were first here, I'll give you a handicap. All you got to do is land one hit. So Nagi runs in and gets kicked in the temple. And then bro just started blasting on some Chun-Li type shit. Nigga hitting him with the helicopter kick. And just straight up teeing off on bro. He hasn't even thrown a punch yet. <laughs> Look at Bob, bro. He like, damn. <laughs> My nigga getting his ass kicked. So then somehow Soichiro gets up from that shit. So bro comes in flying with another kick. But then we bro ducks under it on some Steve Fox type shit. And he throws a punch, but he grabs the wrong ass The punch midair and hits a whole skin of Rooney on that nigga. And bro is out cold. It's over. But then no girl wakes him up and she's like, nigga, you really gonna get your ass whooped in front of all? Bro, I know why. <laughs> I know why you woke up, bruh. If this was my dude, number one and number two reasons why he woke up, like a rural noun, simple adjective. Like I just spit facts here. Come on, dog. All these niggas, you sorry as hell with that fake ass Super Saiyan cut you got going on, my boy. So Taki and Nagi is pissed off right now. This man That doesn't even remind me of like a Super Saiyan cut. It reminds me of like Wolverine. If you ever uh like Wolverine from um from like the cartoons and stuff like that. Um I know it's a comic book that turned into a movie, but they had a cartoon series too. There you go is ready to beat this nigga to a pulp. Nigga like, this is the first day I wanted to whoop a nigga's ass so bad. So then he throws a punch where bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox and straight up just cheap shots him. But everybody like, hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that shit. It, it, yeah, my nigga, I ain't even gonna lie. He, he should have not done that shit. Wrong answer! So then bro just started blasting. Jesus Christ! Boy hit that nigga with the HR Gram 64 bomb. And they trying to get him off him, but he like, got the way, nigga. Dog literally dug his own grave. So then he picks up his lifeless body and gut shakes. Oh my god, bro. That nigga's breakfast is gone. Just look at this. Bro didn't awaken the demon. So then he throws a kill shot and it's over. The, the screen just cuts to black. That, that nigga's dead. He dead! So later on, we cut to him sitting on top of this roof and look at him. He like, damn. I really got my ass whooped on the second day of school. Yep. The thing is, he picked the fight and it was in front of his girl, too. Hey, yo, yeah. bro. Nah, bro, that's it. That's disrespectful yeah. as shit. Hold up. I don't think that's disrespectful, though. If you I put it like this, if you if you if you start something, be able to finish it. OK, so don't start. Don't start. Nothing won't be nothing. If he never started that, he wouldn't he would never got his butt kicked. All right. Next up on the list is Adam smoking Ricky's pack. So Ricky challenges Adam, who is basically a love child between Dio and Hisoka, and the kid looks up to Tony Hawk. And this man does one of the most absolutely disrespectful things you could ever do. I like anybody. that hair. So the race starts, so Ricky takes off, but Adam is still standing there. And then this nigga pulls out a whole pack of black and miles and starts smoking that shit. Ain't no Get away, dog. This nigga just straight monologues for about two minutes, talking about how good his black and miles are. So after he's done with his smoke break, he picks up his board and just starts Naruto running. Nigga went from zero to 60 in a second, and he is gone. And within five seconds, he's already on his ass. He's like, what up, little nigga? I hope you like that two minute head start I gave your ass. Wow. This nigga still got the black and mild in his hand, bruh. Let's go. To him and just starts dancing on the skateboard. Like, nigga, what the f is happening right now? 
Look at him, he pushes him down and just holds him an inch away from the ground. And look at him, he like, don't close your eyes, little nigga. You should save for this <laughs> shit. So then Ricky passes him and does a nice ass little grind. So Adam like, hmm, okay, I'll fuck with you, my boy. So he throws down the cigarette and hits this nasty man. ass Casper's like, God damn, my boy. So then this nigga does this pose and hits this called the love hug and he is skating uphill. This nigga said, the laws of physics, my boy. So then Ricky just went flying. Bro just ended up rolling down the whole hill about like 50 yards. Jesus Christ, back on skate three, that is a fat ass going haul of meat. Hey, but no, 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 no. This man wasn't even done yet. Because while I'm talking about this anime, I got to add one more thing that he did. So they're having this tournament and Adam is racing Cherry right now. And Cherry is actually beating him right now because I ain't even gonna lie, bro. His board is like actual cheats. So then Adam pulls in front of him and then this nigga just starts tap dancing on his damn board. So then Cherry says, don't get too cocky, nigga. But Adam's like, nah, don't be too optimistic, motherfucker. So then he gets off his board, runs up at him, and slaps the nigga with the board. What's that? Get out of my face with that. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Cheating ass board, nigga. Hit his ass so hard to replay three different times. And then while he's on the ground, he starts talking shit to him and he says, yeah, the reason I never responded to your beefs is because, yeah, nigga, you born as shit. <laughs> bro, pack it up, bro. This is wow. a all right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our final one. That, that so I was amazing. I might as well save this one for last. Gotta make it quick though before these niggas get on my ass. And that is Mihawk pulling a butter knife on Zoro. So we all know Zoro's dream. He wants yeah, to be the greatest the swordsman, swordsman of all, of all time. time. But yep. to do that, he's gonna have to get past this nigga. I mean, look how bro pulled up looking like a dripped out vampire slayer. And look at him, <laughs> how pitiful. Weak one. Nigga, you weak as hell and you sorry as hell, but you know what? I'll give you a handicap. I'll pull out a fucking butter knife. <laughs> That's just look at dude, I'm no beast that goes all out when hunting a rabbit. So unfortunately, this is the smallest shit I got. <laughs> Yo, pack it up, my nigga. Like, dog, back in the day during East Blue, this was the craziest <laughs> shit. This man got three stores and it got stopped by a butter knife. Zoro's like, what the f Oh, nigga, I'm out of my league. And just look at him, prairie, 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 prairie y'all fucking day. So then Zoro jumps up, but then he just gets stabbed. Man stabbed him with a butter knife and it sent through shockwaves. So then he like, state your name, nigga. Rep your set. As courtesy <laughs> of surviving so long, I'll actually pull out my real sword. So then we have our stereotypical enemy sword clash. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, but we knew Zora was taking that L. Even with do rag bro. Hey, but even though this is disrespectful as shit, it made our boy who he is today. Cause this man no doubt a menace. <laughs> well, yeah, that was the most disrespectful moments in anime. So. Thank you for doing my outro. <laughs> my thoughts on that was uh, three disrespectful moments, one justifiable moment. I, I I really like this series. I can't wait till he comes out with number four because I, I, I think Dragon Ball Z will have some good disrespectful moments. I think uh, Dragon Ball Z, Helsing, I think there's a way more, dis I think there's a lot more disrespectful moments and, um, and Demon Slayer. Um, disrespectful moments in Castlevania, disrespectful moments and I mean, <laughs> an attack on Titan. I mean, like in the first like five, 10 minutes, somebody mama just get, just chomp. Like, anyway, um, so I think that, yeah, I, I cannot wait to, I cannot wait to look at, um, I can't wait till he releases more in the series. And again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, so long. <laughs>